Hi, Susan. Hello. This is Susan Renault Campbell. Susan Campbell Renault. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's okay. And you do our uh, Never Forget service on September 11th, which is next Tuesday. And you're here joining us uh, to talk a little bit more about this, about how Missoula is uh, working on this and uh, doing this memorial. Yes, we are actually, other than the Pentagon, New York City, and Shanksville, um, Pennsylvania, as far as I know, we're the only community outside of those three big areas that do a full-blown service. And uh, we've been doing it for 17 years, believe wow. it or not. I can't believe it's you were already a been little, seven. You were a little I, I remember it because I was in uh, middle school, I was in sixth grade, yep. and there was a bunch of old giant screen televisions running CNN. You were just stunned. Oh. I mean, it's it, it, it's seared into all of our memories. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually was ready to board an airplane because I had a new book out and my publisher was sending me to Denver and my husband was frantically shaving and I flipped on the Today Show and an airplane was going into the Twin Towers and I went, whoa. Oh, right? Whoa. So, yeah, it's something that has really impacted American society yeah. from then on, because even like before 2001, everything was like casual. Everything was very casual. We weren't yeah. in any major war, no conflicts. The last yeah. conflict at that time was Desert Storm, yeah, well, which was actually a continuation. Yeah, and, and our life changed dramatically. I mean, you could exchange your, um, if you had a plane ticket and you decided you didn't want to go, you could hand your plane ticket to someone else and they could go on the plane on, on your behalf. I yeah. mean, there, the, everything was different. So the service on September 11th is at 7 p.m. It is at Rose Memorial Park. We wanted it at 7 a.m., but that's too early in the morning. And um, we are going to have the Celtic Dragon Pipe Band playing their beautiful bagpipes. We're going to have the American Legion Post 27 with their color guard. We're going to have the VFW with their 21-gun salute. Um, we're going to have the uh, Knights of Columbus. We're going to have the ROTC, University of uh, Montana color guard. We're going to be having the Civil Air Patrol. And uh, they're going to all be in a procession. And we hope that we'll have representatives from the police department and the fire departments because in addition to destroying the Twin Towers and killing almost 3,000 people, it also killed almost 400 firefighters and EMTs that day yep. because, as you remember, while everybody else was running away, the firefighters and the police were running yeah. in. The, 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 three, the 343. The 343. Yeah, it, it, it gives me chills to this day. Whenever I fly, I always wear red, white, and blue in honor of the yeah. the um, the airplanes. The, the airline industry almost single-handedly was destroyed. And um, I always wear red, white, and blue in honor of the, uh, the flights that were destroyed that day. Yeah. It, it, it was just it an had unbelievable such a, day. It had a very large impact that sent shockwaves through yes. history, basically. Yes. Even like how we view modern day now is heavily influenced from September yeah. 11th. And your generation, more than any other, has sacrificed tremendously because your generation stepped up to the plate and really has served. And we have a volunteer army and military that has gone to war and, and is still in war. I mean, we're still yeah. dealing with, what is it, 17 years of, yeah. and, of war. So it's and, and I, and, terrible. And a, and a note to note as well as like I've talked to some military personnel is that um, the military has had to turn people away because there's so much support and so much people enrolling into yes. the military. Well, and this bell um, is a is actually a school bell that belonged to my father-in-law, who loved to ring it, and um, so we do this bell in honor of him. But we also ring it at the end of the service while we we play Amazing Grace, and we do the playing of taps, and then as our honor and color guards walk off from the Vietnam Memorial back to the Korean Memorial, we toll the bell. And um, it is a very, it's, it's a very moving service. And we have a firefighter 
Tom Ziegler, who was personal friends with many of the men that died in the collapse of the Twin Towers, and he reads their names. And um, we just really hope that on September 11th, we will never forget, because it did it changed our lives. Even even if you don't go to the service, I hope that people will remember that day and just look up in the sky and remember those people that were killed. Well, thank you, Susan. And once again, the event starts uh, Tuesday night. Yes. And it goes from 7 to 8 p.m. It does. And uh, the Exchange Club is donating thousands of American flags, which we will place in the ground prior to the service. So if you get to Rose Park a little bit early, you will see thousands of flags in the ground. And then at the end of the service, we pick them up. Very beautiful. Well, thanks, Susan. Thank you.